This video covers the standard operating procedure for the TA Instruments Q500 Thermal Gravimetric Analyzer. Power to the instrument and computer is normally left on. You will need to turn on both nitrogen tanks. Samples are held in small platinum pans such as this. These pans are kept on the right side of the instrument in small boxes. Handle the pan using forceps or crucible tongs to grip the wire handle. On the bench near the sink you'll find a propane tank. Open the valve and light the torch using a cigarette lighter. Use crucible tongs to hold the pan in the flame and clean it off. The hottest part of the flame is the center right at the top of the blue cone. Set the hot pan down to cool on a glass plate. Turn off the torch immediately. Carry the clean pan on a glass plate back to the instrument. Using forceps, place the pan in position 1 on the sample tray. Use the touch screen on the front of the instrument in order to tear the mass of this single pan. The instrument will maneuver the pan into position so that the hanging wire from the balance can hook the handle on the pan. If the wire successfully lifts the pan, then the furnace will move into place around the apparatus. Once the furnace is in place, the balance will set this mass to zero. The whole process takes about two minutes, then the furnace will be lowered and the pan will be placed back in position one on the tray. Use forceps to put the pan upon a clean glass plate and carry it over to the balance on the bench between the hood and the marker board. Set the pan on the analytical balance and tear the mass. Obtain a small piece of sample and use the forceps to place it onto the platinum pan. Use a sample between 5 and 10 milligrams. Place the platinum pan along with the sample into position 1 on the sample tray. The computer for this instrument is normally left on. Please do not log out or shut down the computer. You will not be able to connect to the internet, but you can easily paste your thermograms into a Word document and save it to a flash drive from this computer. From the desktop, choose the icon labeled TA Instrument Explorer. Select the Q500 icon. This will open a summary page on the experiment screen. From the banner along the top, select the Experiment Wizard icon. This program will help us set the parameters for our procedure. In most cases, we will accept the default value. In this demonstration, we will run a conventional TGA. This involves ramping the temperature at a constant rate. Set the ramp rate to 20 degrees per minute and the final temperature of 500 degrees Celsius. A summary of all the parameters for this experiment is shown on the next screen. Here we can enter the sample name so it appears on the graph and add some comments. Create a file name for your data and put it in your own folder inside the CHEM320 folder. On the next screen, put your own name on the operator line and be certain that the type of pan that is selected is platinum. When ready, start the run using the green triangle in the upper left-hand corner.
When the experiment is finished, click on this icon to launch the Windows Universal Analysis Program. Open your data file. Here the results are displayed as the weight percent versus temperature on the green line, and the first derivative curve is shown in blue. Hold the left mouse button down as you draw a box around the region of interest. Click the right mouse button and accept the limits. From the Analyze menu, select Weight Change. If necessary, move the crosshairs along the green line to position the crosshairs at the start and at the end point for the transition of interest. Right-click and accept the limits. The weight loss will automatically be displayed on the graph. Now you can annotate the graph and then copy and paste it into another Word document for displaying for your report. At the end of your work, turn off the nitrogen on both tags and sign the logbook.